Hello friends, welcome to our channel Simplified Concepts. In this video, we are going to discuss quantity reduction for more gain, more gain problems. First problem, a person sells an article at a profit of 10%. He, if he had bought it at 10% less and sold it for rupees 3 more, he would have gained 25%. Find the cost price is asking. First, the person initially makes one profit one profit at a percentage of 10 percentage if he bought 10 percentage less and sold it for rupees 3 more he makes another profit 25 percentage how to approach this kind of problems here sp1 plus how uh, second for a uh, achieve second profit he sold it for rupees 3 more so sp1 plus 3 is equal to sp2 sp1 is equal to cp into profit percentage profit percentage is 10 percentage 10 percentage can be written as 100 plus x 100 plus 10 by 100 is equal to 110 by 100 which can be written as 1.1 so cp into 1.1 percentage plus 3 is equal to sp for second selling price, he bought 10 percentage less. 10 percentage less means 90 percentage of CP only he bought. So 90 percentage can be written as 9 by 10 into he makes a, a profit of 20 percent, 25 percentage. 25 percentage can be written as 100 plus X. 100 plus 25 is equal to 125 by 100 which can be written as 1.25. So, 90 by 100 CP into 1.25. 1.1 CP plus 3 is equal to 0 0.9 CP into 1.25. 9 by 10 CP into 125 by 100. 5 by 4. 1.1 CP plus 3. 1 by 2. So 9 by 8 CP minus 1.1 CP is equal to 3. Take LCM. 9 minus 1.1 becomes 8.8. .8. 9 minus 8.8 .8 by 8 CP equal to 3. So 0 0.2 CP is equal to 8 3s are 24. CP is equal to 24 divided by 0 0.2. 24 by 2 into 100. Take out this decimal. So CP is equal to 120. So for this problem you have to take SP1. For SP, uh, SP1 how much amount is added? How much uh, rupees is added to gain SP2? Then calculate CP uh, for SP1, take CP into profit percentage plus 3. For SP2, how much CP is reduced is taken as uh, 90 percentage, 90 divided by 100 into CP into take the uh, second profit percentage. Then uh, calculate this, uh, cal cal uh, then put calculations and get the answer. In this way, let us go to solve another problem. A person bought an article and sold it at a loss of 10%. If he had bought it for 20% less and sold it for rupees 25 more, he would have had a profit of 40%. So initially the person makes loss in selling SP1. For achieving profit, he sold it for rupees 25 more so sp1 plus 55 is equal to sp2 for sp1 cp into loss sp is cp because the person uh, initially makes loss so cp into loss plus 55 for second selling price he bought it for 20 percentage less that is cp is reduced by 80 percentage so 80 by 100 of CP into profit is 
40 percentage 40 percentage can be written as 100 plus 40 divided by 100 that is 140 by 100 which can be written as 1.4 1.4 so cp into loss is 10 percentage 10 percentage is loss so we have to subtract 10 from 100 100 minus 10 is 90 by 100 plus 55 is equal to 4 by 5 4 by 5 cp into 1.4 here 9 by 10 cp plus 55 4 by 5 cp into 1.4 Put all CPs in one side. So, uh, 4, 4 by 5 CP into 1.4 minus 9 by 10 CP is equal to 55. Take CP outside. And take also LCM. 4 2 is 8. 8 into 1.4 minus 9 divided by 10 is equal to 55. 1.4 into 8 is 11.2 minus 9 by 10 is equal to 55. 2.2550 into CP. So CP is equal to 550 divided by 200. 500 by 2 which can witness 250 so cp is 250 let a man buys a radio and sells it at a profit of 20 percentage if he bought it at 20 percentage less and sold it for rupees 75 less he would have gained 25 so here the person initially makes one profit let us take as SP1. If he bought it at 10, 20 percentage less. 20 percentage less is second uh, CP is 20 percentage less. And sold it for 75 rupees less. So SP1 minus 75 is equal to he makes second selling price SP2. So first equation is um, first equation is find out. So how to solve uh, solve solve this? SP one is equal to CP into profit. CP into profit minus seventy five is equal to for second selling price he bought twenty percentage less. That is twenty percentage less means hundred minus twenty is equal to eighty percentage of CP. Eighty by hundred into CP he makes profit of twenty five percentage. 25 percentage can be written as 100 plus x which is 125 by 100 which can be written as 1.25 or 125 by 100. For cancelling purpose we put it as 20, 125 by 100. 4 by 5, 5 by 4 cp. So cp here first profit is 20 percentage. 20 percentage can be written as 100 plus 20. 100 plus 20 is equal to 120 by 100 which can be written as 120 by 100. 6 by 5 minus 75. So 6 by 5 CP minus CP is equal to 75. Take LCM. 1 by 5 CP is equal to 75. CP is equal to 75 into 5 which is 3, 375. So solve in this way. It will be useful in solving less time in competitive exams. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe to the YouTube channel.